I never had planned anything because I've never ran for anything in my life. Right. You give back to the community, you're engaged, you know the right people, you're doing it for the right reasons. This was never realized, it told me, I just had to tell your story. Congratulations, Lakewood Mayor Pro Tem, Ariel Pe. Um, hello and welcome to So Janelle. Oh, welcome to Lakewood, <laughs> I hear that you're the first Filipino ever elected to the council yes. of this predominantly white community. Correct. Tell us your experience. Sum it up in two words, chronic volunteer. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the city of Lakewood. I've been here since 1971. So you get engaged in the community. Once you get engaged in the community, um, it's, it's like proof is in the pudding. People know who you are because of giving back, and that's what this community is built on. We have so many nonprofits in the city of Lakewood that there's multiple opportunities to get engaged and keep you busy. So that was actually my roadmap in um, getting engaged and opening myself to being noticed. I'm not a politician, I'm a public servant. So for me, it was when the opportunity was brought to me, it was one of those things where you need to consider this. I go, what? You know, I'm like, me? I've never ran for anything in my life. Right. Let's make that distinction. I, I always hear that. And I've said it before as well. I'm sure some of our viewers know that. But let's make it clear. What is a politician? What is a public servant? Politics is the art of compromise. My job is to be the voice of the people, but at the same time, listen to the people. And then make sure that my, the higher ups are listening to us and finding that common ground. But being a public servant is always giving back because it's putting yourself, it's service above self. I'm a Rotarian in the city of Lakewood. I love my Rotary Club. It was my gateway to all this. The DNA of being Filipino and Catholic led me to be giving. Now I can just give on a bigger level. So my job now is being a political public servant or however <laughs> you want to coin this is to give back to the community that's giving me so much. I love that. This this show is about immigration and representation, right? Um, and so let's touch a little bit on your parents' immigration story because everyone has that, yeah. whether it's yours or your parents or your ancestors. Yeah. Um, what, what, what was it like? Mom's a nurse and father's an engineer and my father was recruited in the mid-60s to work for Firestone, which is you know is Citadel. Right. That was the Firestone company as an engineer. So obviously my mom was a nurse, so it made it easy for them to come. So when they first came, they landed in Culver City and my mom and dad were, I feel like as humble and conservative as they are, they were like trailblazers. They just said, we're gonna move to Lakewood. Wow. So like any of the schools I went to or anything we got involved with was very small or little to none Filipinos outside of myself and then my cousins. But like Filipinos, we do, we acclimate, right? And we don't look at color lines, we look at people for being people. Mm -hmm. And obviously you get involved in the church and the schools, and that's what it was. It was very well brought in to come to this country to work and at the same time build this life. Yes. You ran for office. Yes. You know, now people have a model to look up to, yeah. right? Now Filipinos can say, and Filipino parents who are watching, can now say, I want this maybe career for my children. Yeah. I want this path. Maybe I want to be more involved in the community, whereas before maybe as immigrants, we bow our heads because we just want to mind our own business because yeah. we're trying to establish ourselves, yeah. right? <laughs> it's funny you say that because I asked my parents, why didn't you guys get involved? They go, we're involved. We're involved in church and your sports. And then I go, politically, they go, why? I mean, every we're, we've made a great life for us. We've done well for yourself. Why don't want to reshape the system? And it's to that is is we're getting put in these positions to make a difference. I'm not here to change anything here in Lakewood. I'm here to make sure my team evolves and understands what else is going on. And my team here is amazing. Mm -hmm. As much as people outside looking in say it's very white, the mentality isn't like that. The, the mentality here is all of Lakewood. I mean, when I looked at the data for the city of Lakewood, there's no pockets mm. of, of communities of interest, whether it's nationalities or it's race or it's whatever it may be. It's very peppered, it's diverse. diverse. And if there was a community of interest, it's maybe two families that live next to each other. And I live next to you and you're still five houses down, right. but there's not 20 families. So right. it's, we're still peppered everywhere. And that's where you get that diversity and you don't get that, that inclusion. You know, It's very non-endemic to, be friends with all your neighbors. You are an epitome of representation. You're representing yes. your constituents. Yes. You're representing Filipinos who were born and raised here. You're representing a lot of different pockets and interests, yeah. right? Yes, I'm a, it, we're trailblazing. Now I'm trailblazing for the Filipino Americans now and the youth. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why I'm not, I, I love wearing suits. And I, it, it, there's, there's times and 
and there's times for it and there's times where I can be myself and most of the time I choose to be myself because I want to inspire the younger generation like hey you can wear vans and be a politician you can still wear a dad hat and untuck your shirt but in the end it's about what you bring to the table mm -hmm. and I think me being able to get where I am today is you have to bring it it doesn't matter what you look like it's right. a matter what you bring to the table so right. and so what message would you give to viewers, maybe parents of Filipinos, maybe, you know, Filipino children th themselves watching and saying, oh, that guy's cool. Maybe I can be a politician too someday or, or a public servant or t both or be in Lakewood. My parents let us be kids. They let us be Filipino boys in the city of Lakewood and be, let us run our youth and got us engaged in everything. My recommendation would be to like let your kids be kids because at one point in time, if you did your job, they will find their path. It might take some kids longer to find out their path. It might take, they might find it out of the gate, but once they find it, I promise you, especially in my family, my parents never regulated what I wanted to do or what I had to do. They just kind of supported and like, mm, okay, he's doing this, what are you doing? But, but once I figure it out, it's it's gone. Like the, the, the burners are on, I'm at 100 miles an hour, you know, so my recommendation is to kind of let them be kids because if you don't get the experience being a kid and you grow up too fast, then you're gonna miss this part of your life. And that's a pretty big growing time in, in, in the, the, the process of thinking, right? Mm -hmm. So like in city business, we talk about big changes, capital improvement projects then I always revert to being a kid. Like, okay, what would I want in the city of Lakewood? Or would this make a difference in, in the city for me? So don't let them grow up too fast. I get the pressure, I get the degree, I get all that. But sometimes let, let them be who they are. Where do you plan to take this? I don't have a next level game plan. What I do know is I'm living in the moment. I'm enjoying the now because, you know, I have a family, I have to balance, you know, everything can't be just work, 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 but I'm, I'm living now. Now, if doors open up, I'm not close to that, you know, but at the same time, sometimes we get so caught up in what happened in the past. Now we're so caught up in what's going to happen in the future, which I get, don't get me wrong. But sometimes when you live in the now, it's, it's a, a completely different ball game when you're just kind of sitting there, just soaking it all in and enjoying because I live by the, the, the happiness is a journey, not a destination, right? Right. I love that. I have enjoyed this conversation. Yeah. I, I hope you have too. Yes. But congratulations once again. Yes. And thank you for your service to the community. Absolutely. Thank you for coming and sharing.